Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome to today's video. Today, I have some tips and tricks for you on how to use your sketchbook and not be afraid of using it. Because um, I've asked you guys on Instagram on some video ideas you would like me to do, some tips and tricks you would like me to share. And one of the questions was, um, how do I stop being afraid of my sketchbook? And I'm not a super huge account, so I don't get many questions, but a reoccurring question um, is, how do you fill your sketchbooks? I've never filled the sketchbook in my whole life. Um, and the answer to that is pretty simply, I just draw in it every day. Um, but I would like to share some, some advice I've learned along the way, because for the longest time I did not use sketchbooks. And um, I started using sketchbooks because my wife was using sketchbooks when I uh, met her and I found that pretty cool because I found her pretty cool. So um, yeah, this is how that started um, over 10 years ago. And <clears throat> first of all, you don't have to use a sketchbook. A lot of people, a lot of very good artists don't like using sketchbooks. Um, you can draw on loose sheets of paper if you like. That's all pretty fine. Uh, if you would like to, to, um, to, to collect your work and to have it in chronological order, you can always like put it in a binder or stick it in another book, um, with date, uh, in the, on the page and stuff like that. Um, it, it really doesn't matter if you draw on loose paper or if you draw on in a sketchbook. It, it does not matter. You're not less of an artist because you don't like using sketchbooks. As a matter of fact, um, an artist everybody knows these days, I think, and that I really admire is um, Kim Hyun Gi. Uh, I hope I did uh, pronounce his name correctly. And he didn't. He doesn't like, or he didn't like using sketchbooks. He he said in an interview that he only started using sketchbooks um, because his assistant was tired of collecting the loose sheets of paper. So they said, like, here, you're drawing in sketchbooks now, <laughs> so I don't have all that much of, of a work with it. So, yeah, you don't have to use a sketchbook. The, the, the important thing is that you, that you practice and that you draw every day and no matter um, how little, how small the sketch is, the important thing is that you practice. So um, the next thing I want to talk about is the fear of the void um, in Latin horror vacui. Um, it's something my teacher told me about in um, school, in graphic design school, and it's the fear of the blank page basically. And um, it's common in all creative fields. Um, writers have are scared to start their stories sometimes. As we creative people who draw um, are afraid to start on a blank page. And sometimes you can break this uh, this this fear by just like making a little mark on the page and making it not like empty. But um, if you're scared of ruining the first page in your sketchbooks, here are some tips. So you can maybe like use a drawing you've done on a loose sheet of paper and just stick it in there. Um, or you can do a collage. You can do like, um, you can use things you like or that inspire you. Like you can print out stuff from Pinterest or you can um, use things from magazines or just use um, swatches from pens you want to try out. Um, you can use the first page you uh, for anything uh, you like. Like, you don't have to do a perfect masterpiece on the first page. That's never gonna happen anyway, I think, for most of us. So, you can um, break this this cycle of fear. <laughs> just stick something in if you like, or just doodle on it with um, abstract forms or do swatches. So, that's something you could do. And also, a lot of people I know use their sketchbooks 
not in chronological order, but pick a random page in the sketchbook and just start there. Um, if you don't care for having a chronological order in your sketchbook, you can always do that. Like, pick a random page and draw on it. You don't have to um, start on the first page. There's literally no rules for sketchbooks. Nobody, um, nobody ever, like can tell you what to do in your sketchbook. It's your happy place. And I will come to that later. Like, there is no rules and make it as comfortable. Um, if you want to use a sketchbook, make it as comfortable as it gets for you. So one of the things I also mentioned in another video um, is you can use your sketchbook as a diary. You don't have to use it like all the time for super duper um, delicate studies of anatomy or of architecture. You can use your sketchbook for literally whatever the heck you like. You can, you can do little doodles on what you ate that day. You can do little doodles on what stupid things your like your pet did that day or um, maybe you saw something in in the YouTube video that you found pretty cool like a craft or so and you can draw that or you can um, do like studies from screenshots if you want but you can just it can be the smallest little things you can put in your sketchbook because your sketchbook um, is very personal like it can be a collection of things that you like and that come along your way and um, or you can like maybe I uh, draw your plants draw a little doodle of your of your house plants if you have any or of your action figure collection like draw them as little stupid um stick figures having conversations i don't know it's all up to you and you can do literally whatever you like i'm repeating myself but i really want to um, bring that point home because it's really important to me that you understand that you don't use your sketchbook for other people to show them um, you don't use your sketchbook for like showing it on YouTube or showing it on Instagram you use it to practice and to um, to 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 get further along on your journey in art like that's literally the the, the thing you should do with it and um, yeah that's this point the next point is make it your happy place like you, if you don't like using pencil, you don't have to use pencil. You can draw with whatever you want. You can do abstract pieces. You can do everything you like because you should make your sketchbook your happy place. You can, like, for that it's important to, um, to find a sketchbook that paper is suited to the mediums you use. Because if you have a sketchbook that is suited for charcoal and pencil and you love to use watercolors or acrylics or paint pens or like text markers in your work, um, you will not be happy with that paper. So it's important to do a little bit of research and maybe test out some sketchbooks, test out some papers, um, view like a few reviews on YouTube or on the internet anywhere um, from people who know what they're talking about, um, which paper is um, suited for what. Or you can learn to bind your own sketchbooks or you can um, ask someone on Etsy if you have a little bit of money to spend. Um, you can always uh, buy like custom made sketchbooks with um, the paper of your needs. But it's important. Paper is really important. Um, yeah, so uh, one sketchbook's <laughs> I can't talk. Um, I can mention a few brands uh, if you like. One sketchbook I really like is the Talents one from um, Royal Talents, the crea creative, something with creative in the title. Um, but I know it's not available for a reasonable price anywhere in the world. I'm just I'm just lucky I'm in Germany and there they are pretty affordable. Um, they have a lot of pages and they take watercolors and inks and color pencils pretty well. Um, 
yeah so um, also I really like using um, Sea White of Brighton they also take those mediums pretty well but they can be a little bit of streaky with um, felt tip pens and also I really like the Moleskine sketchbooks um, but those are pretty expensive I know um, what else so yeah you will find a sketchbook I'm pretty sure there's a whole market <laughs> open for you to find your preferred sketchbook because just because I like those brands and those sketchbooks doesn't mean you have to like them because everyone's different everyone has a little bit of a different workflow and different mediums they like so yeah but what I wanted to say was as I mentioned in the beginning of this point, make it your happy place. Use colors you like, use mediums you like, stick things in if you like. Um, there's no rules. Just make it a place that you like to visit and that you like to come back to every day. And yeah, and one last, one last thing um, I want, I want to mention is please don't rip out pages of your sketchbook because it's a part of this um, and the more the more pages you are ripping out the more scared you will become of making mistakes I've done that in the past and the more pages I ripped out of my sketchbooks um, the more I was like oh no this page is not that pretty too I'm gonna tear that out oh and this page is not perfect I'm gonna tear that out um, if you're making a mistake just move on just learn from it and move on like in real life you can't erase your mistakes you have to learn from them and move on and um, when I was in art school we actually weren't allowed to erase in our sketchbooks it was forbidden the only thing um, you can you could do back then was to stick a sticky note over it and um, make it better but not erase like don't erase because you will you will try and erase everything and make it perfect and that's not how it works for most of us um, but yes yeah, sticky notes are a really good way to correct your work that you don't like and you are not ruining the paper and um, it does not become crinkly because you're erasing too hard um, just stick a sticky note over it and um, be honest to yourself hey I made a mistake here I'm gonna try and correct it and if you don't like um, what you draw on the sticky note you can take another one because they are easily removable and um, you can stick them in for good when you're satisfied and if the drawing does not turn out at all you can stick another drawing on top but don't rip out pages because um, also it ruins the books <laughs> The, the books that are not perforated um, and meant to be turned out uh, where the, the pages that does not um, have this edge to be torn out um, it ruins your books and they will fall apart and I'm I'm a bit of a book nerd and it hurts me a bit <laughs> um, but yeah um, don't don't try to be perfect in your sketchbooks is th what that point means really like there will no be there, there will not be a perfect sketchbook um, I always have so many drawings in my sketchbooks that I don't like and that did not turn out the way I wanted them to turn out but it's fine it's fine nobody's perfect we all make mistakes and we have to um, accept that and once you can do that you will be a much more happy person and you will learn much quicker because you will see like yeah I'm not ripping out a page um, I made a mistake here and I'm turning this page over now and um, I'm gonna try it and do better next time or you can stick that sticky note on top and draw on top like it doesn't really matter so yeah that's all the tips I have for you today um, I hope I could help you a little bit with my ramblings and Maybe it will help you to fill your sketchbooks. If you have any kind of question, um, you can put them down in the description and I will try to answer them or I will answer them in another video. Um, yeah, I'll do my best. I'm not a professional um, art teacher 
but I can try and share the knowledge I gained along the way um, of my art journey and yeah I really hope that helps you and I thank you very much for watching and if you liked what you heard here and if you're new please consider subscribing to the channel and I see you guys next time and until I see you please do something that makes you happy bye